Hi friends, back with again the questions. So the first one, uh, okay, I, I did not tell where we are uh, heading towards or which practical we are going to discuss today. So yes, so today we are going to talk about uh, one very common method of staining that is your acid fast staining. Acid fast staining, okay, so let's go with the questions. Who discovered this method? This acid fast staining method was discovered by whom? Who later modified it? And do we have any alternative name for this particular method? So this particular method was discovered by Paul Ehrlich, right? The one who we, uh, whom we uh, credit for uh, being the father of chemotherapy. So Paul Ehrlich in uh, 1882, uh, he discovered this particular method of uh, staining these acid fast organism. This was later on modified by Zeal Nielsen. Right, so this particular method uh, also therefore called as the Zeal Nielsen staining. So ZN staining, Zeal Nielsen staining is the alternative name for this acid fast staining. So acid fast staining discovered by Ehrlich in 1882 and modified by Zeal Nielsen and also known as the Zeal Nielsen staining. The next one state the two basic types of acid fast staining. So the two basic types of acid fast staining uh, you will find it is generally the hot method and the cold method. So most commonly in the laboratory we use the uh, hot method of the Zeal Nielsen. This method is known as the hot method. Microbes which are acid fast, they are acid fast due to what? They are acid fast due to uh, the presence of mycolic acid. So they have the component of what is called as your mycolic acid, a waxy substance in their cell envelope and therefore uh, they are acid fast. So once they are stained, they are not decolorized even with the use of a strong acid uh, like H2SO4, a mixture of this acid and alcohol also is not able to remove this particular uh, stain once these particular uh, cells they are stained and this is because of this waxy component in their cell envelope that is your mycolic acid. Okay. So what is the sequence of addition of stains? And what are the observations in this acid fast staining? So sequence of addition, as I always say that they, these videos are related to only general questions which are asked in Viva for the procedures and for the detailed principles, uh, stay tuned with us. So sequence of addition uh, of these stains, so yes, so you take a heat fix smear as you always do. Uh, you may take a heat fix smear or you may directly go for the sputum sample. So you take this particular sample uh, and then you go for addition of the primary stain uh, that is the strong carbolfuxin. So here it is the strong carbolfuxin because it is a combination of uh, carbolfuxin and phenol. So a strong carbolfuxin fuxin you go on adding it you heat it right you may boil it uh, see that you do not dry it but uh, you may uh, add blotting paper or you may try to keep this particular uh, slide wet you may repeat the steps right so continue addition of this carbon fuxin for some time still uh, it is completely stained then you go for uh, addition of decolorizer uh, that is your uh, acid alcohol here we use around 20 percent of your uh, h2so4 so decolorize it properly with this acid alcohol with water wash then go for counter staining with methylene blue so you counter stain it with methylene blue some also go for counter staining with another dye that is malachite green but that is uh, very rare so most probably we generally go for uh, using a counter stain of methylene blue so how exactly it will look like when you add this primary stain that is the carbolfuxin uh, you will find that whether the organism is or the cells are acid fast or non-acid fast both of them they will take up the red color after addition of decolorizer the acid fast organism they do not leave their red color so therefore they will retain their red color because of this mycolic acid whereas these which do not have these mycolic acid components in their cell envelope uh, they will uh, now become uh, colorless after the process of what is called as your decolorization when you add the counter stain uh, these acid fast organisms they will remain red whereas these non acid fast organisms uh, or the cells they will appear blue in color so observations if you can see uh, this is the bluish ones you can see they are uh, non acid fast they may be your epithelial cells or other organisms which are non acid fast 
वेर एज दी एसिड फास्ट ऑर्गेनिजम दे विल अपियर रेड इन कलर सो जनरली यू विल फाइंड रेड रॉड्स और कर्व रॉड्स रेड इन कलर सो दे आर एसिड फास्ट ऑर्गेनिजम सो दिस इज अ जनरल ऑब्जर्वेशन फॉर दी सो कार्बोल फोक्सिन द प्राइमरी स्टेन हीट एंड ऑल दे विल एक्ट एज दक्सेंटुएटर योर एसिड एंड अल्कोहल विल एक्ट एज द डी कलराइजर एंड मिथिलीन ब्लू और मैलचेट ग्रीन रिमेंबर विल एक्ट एज द काउंटर स्टेन so if you have added malchitic green obviously the things other which are non acid fast they will appear green state some modifications of this method yes there are many modifications uh, which have been suggested like some instead of using 20% they go for use of 1% of your h2so4 this 1% of h2so4 is generally used for your actinomycetes for nocardia species you use uh, 1% of your h2so4 you go for 0.5 to 1% of your h2so4 uh, and alcohol obviously for uh, the oocyst uh, of uh, species like uh, cyclospora isospora right so uh, these organisms oocyst staining requires 0.5 to 1% of your h2so4 one most common modification as i told is the hot method is the cold method that is the uh, kinoyun uh, method what we call so this particular Uh, method which is there so this kinoyun method or the cold method uh, that is one another modification of this uh, acid fast staining so you have this cold method or kinoyun method you can go for uh, 0.25 to uh, 0.5% for bacterial endospores so there there is also one of the modification of this acid fast staining uh state some examples of acid fast organism yes this is the most common question which you may be confronted with uh, various species of your uh, mycobacterium so your mycobacterium lepri your mycobacterium uh, tuberculi right uh, these particular species they are acid fast various species of nocardia they are also acid fast and after performance of this uh, zeal nielsen uh, staining uh, these organisms they will appear red whereas the non acid fast organisms they will appear blue so stay tuned with me professor girish kukreja for more in microbiology thank you